water and sewer service for a manufacturing plant, you're not going to have uh, a manufacturing plant much longer. And the cooperation the state had with the county and city here, I think, is a game changer. And we're going to continue to invest in new water and infrastructure throughout North Carolina now that we had that money in the bonds that were approved by 68 percent of the voters. So infrastructure is key. Transportation, water, uh, communications, and power are very vital, in addition to education infrastructure, which is very helpful to this. Uh, you know, we're just seeing some great engineers from schools throughout this entire region, all from Virginia Tech to NC State. He was bragging about the engineering talent that uh, he has at this great company. So educational infrastructure is another very important role. Tom, I mean, we're so blessed because we can recruit the finest out of the universities technically just because of the free brand and all that's happening with sustainability in our country today. And we're very proud that, that we have the great engineers that we have to, to develop and uh, generate new products that help us uh, be successful in the future. One more question for you. You've had to deal with textiles, you know, plummeting and, and all this. I mean, to be on the head of this technology, I mean, aren't you just like amazed? I am. <laughs> because, you know, I had the good fortune in the 90s to build all these plants and expand this business and buy new technology. And I also had the misfortune of having to shut them down and, and lay off people, which was one of the worst experiences of my life. And to be in the position we're in today, investing capital, creating new opportunities, is a tremendous attribute to the communities we reside in to our, and to unify itself. And right here in North Carolina. And North Carolina. Um, I'm Morgan with WFMY in Greensboro. Yes, Morgan. So I know that today is the grand opening of this plant, but you've already been able to make products from here. So what is the capacity like per day um, that you can create at this plant? Basically, we, we produce approximately 200,000 pounds of clear bottle flake per day, and that will support our needs in the Acumbal for our reprieve product. And will also allow us to create new opportunities in different markets that we don't participate in today, which will be growth opportunities for Unify in the future. And, sorry, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> I'm so amazed by what you're doing here. I couldn't remember what I was going to say. It's pretty the, fascinating. It is. The products, it is. The product, the, the recycled products coming here from all over the nation mm -hmm. in Dorocketham County are now going into <clears throat> shoes and clothing and materials that we're all wearing right yeah. from North Carolina. And I remember the 90 jobs is, do you expect to hire more folks in the coming as you increase productivity or is 90, I mean that's a lot. Well, uh, 90 is what we publicly have said. You know, I, I think I expect more, but I would not publicly state another number at this okay. time until we really get to start up under our belt. Okay. Sir, when do the 90s start working or have we're, they already? We have about half of those people on staff now mm -hmm. and in the next few weeks we'll be adding the additional jobs to begin a 24 by 7 operation here. This, this plant will run seven days a week, 365 days a year hopefully, which will benefit everyone in the community. Take two more questions or one more question if you have any. And tell us who you're with. Uh, Richard Craver, was the seven girl. Let me get you on video one last one. In this instance, with this center opening up now, does this give y'all the opportunity to source directly the bottles, or will y'all still depend more on uh, third-party sourcing? This will allow us to source bottles from municipalities and people that handle uh, recycled bottles, and it will be a source of our raw materials. And for the most part, we will still have a few third-party suppliers, but we will be mostly our own supplier of recycled material for our reprieve product.